The Hard Rock Hotel collapsed during construction almost two years ago, and even now we're learning new information about what happened on that tragic day. Investigative reporter David Hammer is at the site with a follow-up to brand new video of the collapse that he showed us yesterday. David. Yeah, good evening, Karen. That video that we obtained ex exclusively yesterday showed the collapse from a whole new angle across Canal Street and down from above, showing more of what happened with that collapse. And also new today, a city council committee passed the first piece of legislation to come out of the Hard Rock collapse and all the problems that we discovered there. And they hope that it will bring more scrutiny to new high-rise construction projects. This newly obtained video shows for the first time the moment the collapse began. The scene is horrific. Concrete and steel collapsing seemingly without warning. Workers running for their lives, three of them crushed to death. You can see the upper floors of the Hard Rock Hotel collapsing in a wave from the back of the building to the front. Yellow industrial cranes swaying as the upper floors of the building give way. Heavy construction material sliding off the roof and even a construction elevator shaft separating from the building, falling across Rampart Street, slamming into the Sanger Theater and puncturing its roof. Our investigation since that day in October 2019 exposed problems with the building's steel design, including the distance between beams and reinforcement for a cantilevered balcony. And as you can see on the video, that cantilevered balcony is where the collapse began. Structural engineer Michael Bradbury thinks that problem should have been easily caught. Having a cantilever with no reinforcing is a big issue to me. You know, somebody should have seen that. You know, it's basic concrete knowledge. Bradbury is a structural engineer in California and worked as a building plan reviewer for the cities of Denver and Austin, Texas. He thinks it's a big mistake that New Orleans has no licensed structural engineers inspecting its high rise buildings. We need building departments that have actual structural engineers actually reviewing the stuff and not just looking at it That because when it falls down, it's too late. City Councilwoman Kristen Gislason Palmer agrees. I really want to force um, city, uh, the C civil service to review the different pay levels because right now we cannot attract talent because we're not paying the professionals what they need to be paid to do the job effectively. Bradbury said an independent third-party structural engineer should also review all high-rise construction projects. Today, Palmer introduced a new city ordinance to do just that. But also having a true third-party eye on the work that's being done. But will her proposed ordinance be enough to overcome the problems in the city's safety and permits department? Our investigation in February 2020 used GPS records to show city inspectors did not show up at the Hard Rock when they said they did to approve those upper concrete floors that collapsed. And our hidden dangers investigation exposed more problems with the third party inspectors the city uses, some of whom have now been charged with fraud. So how does this differ from that and how do you prevent that kind of issue from happening? So what, what will happen here is that first off within the ordinance it's very clear that there can be no conflict of interest. So there'll be a list of structural engineers that the city will put together, right, and they have to have certain qualifications. Palmer also wants to mimic requirements in other cities to have high rises inspected every 40 years. She said the public review process will ensure the city's new buildings are higher quality. Bradbury said the city also needs to restore the public's shaken confidence after the Hard Rock catastrophe. I believe the public has the right to know what their building is, whether it's safe. That's really important. Now that engineering review ordinance goes to the full council for its vote next week. And today at the committee hearing, we heard from the mother of one of the men killed in the collapse. And we'll have we'll tell you what she had to say coming up at six o'clock for now reporting live from the former Hard Rock Hotel collapse site. David Hammer, Eyewitness News.